Okay, next we're going to uh, do a little bit of fun with automation. To get to the automation window, just click uh, or just push A. And now your whole screen flips over to this guy. This, and I'll zoom in a little bit. This is actually what you're automating. So it's going to be volume or pan, solo or mute. If you want to draw in just by using your, your mouse, your normal pointer tool, you can draw in points that you want to be automated and then just put them wherever it is that you want them to go. But if that's not good enough for you, you can do this. Go over here to the pencil tool, draw in your automation, whatever way you see fit. By dragging your mouse across there, you can make it go away. Uh, if you've got just maybe two points of automation, just by re-clicking those little dots, they go bye-bye, which is pretty cool. Um, now let's say that you have some plugins that you want to use. Uh, so let's, I don't know. There, okay. And you want to be able to automate those plugins as well. As soon as you turn plugins on, they now show up in your, um, in your automation window. So, and every part of that plugin shows up over here too. So if we want to start, um, you know, if we want to start with a certain type of circuit in our compressor and then about you know a third of the way through our loop we want to change it to a different type we can do that and we can do that here as well pencil tool also will work or whatever command Z undoes whatever it is that you did you can take um, an EQ and if you want a little bit more uh, I don't know, a little bit more highs as the song goes on. Use your pencil tool and just draw it in. So, and uh, if you want, and hit the A button to turn all that off, and you'll be able to hear any of the changes that you did during your recording. Uh, if you want to export it like this, all you have to do is just click on it, and uh, something I'll do is I'll just uh, set locators right there and you can bounce but a more cool way to do it now in Logic 9 is you can actually do bounce in place which is I think over here in track yeah bounce in place and what that does is it makes a brand new copy of the loop that you're using with all of your plugins already on it you can choose to have them on or off just by doing that so, or you can blend it by creating a new track. This will allow you to do things like parallel compression uh, and running them both simultaneously. There you go. So now we've got both of our tracks playing at the same time. This is really good for like gated drum tracks or compressed vocals or something like that. So, there you go. Enjoy.